going on YouTube, Gios Narrate here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who are willing to downgrade or upgrade to unsigned versions of iOS 12 in the future. So just a few hours ago, a new version of Future Restore, which is a tool for iOS downgrades and upgrades with SHSH2 blobs, has been released by Southwest in here, but it's a version that is pretty much patched up in order to support the iOS 12 and the A12 chips. So if you take a look in here, the uh, latest release pretty much contains the uh, macOS binary the source code and some information about it. It's been made 10 hours ago and it's unfortunately only available for the Mac OS. No Windows and no Linux binaries. So yeah, it says in here, quote, future restore with iOS 12 restoring support. No support for Face ID devices though. So yeah, if you have a device that is pretty much containing the Face ID module, you know, you unlock it with Face ID, then this one wouldn't really work for you because the support for Face ID is not there and therefore the, um, the Face ID will be broken. So in order to use this kind of tool, you would need to have saved SHSH2 blobs in order to be able to downgrade or upgrade to that version. So one thing you have to keep in mind when using this kind of tool, you know, the future restore for whatever version is that the um, SEP or the secure enclave processor has to be compatible from the latest signed version to the version you want to downgrade. So if you want to go far back, even though you have the blobs, you may not be able to do that. For example, you're not able to downgrade to iOS 11.1.2 or to iOS 10 or to iOS 11.3.1 even though you have the blobs because at first if you have iOS 12 running on your device and you want to downgrade to 11.3.1 you wouldn't be able to do so because you cannot set the nonce in the NVRAM of the device and that's because there is no jailbreak or any NVRAM patch tool available for the iOS 12. And the second problem is that even if you could set this information, the SEP or Secure Enclave processor and the baseband for the devices with GSM or SIM card support also has to be compatible from the latest version with the version that you're downgrading to. So there are some limitations when using Future Restore. However, if you do not have any saved blobs, you wouldn't be able to use this at all, regardless of the SCP or a jailbreak that is available. So yeah, in order to pretty much use your blobs, you have to save them beforehand when the iOS version is still signed. In order to do that, you can use this online tool in here by one Conan, and this only requires you to put in here your ACID. I have many tutorials on how to save your blobs, but in this video in here, I'm going to show you how to retrieve them. So I have an iPod Touch connected to the computer, and it's connected here to iTunes, I'm going to press here to serial number, UDID, and we have the ACID number. So at this point I'm going to copy this one in here, you don't have to update or downgrade or whatever in order to save or retrieve your saved blobs. And you're going to paste in here in recover SHSH2 link. So the problem is that if you didn't save them beforehand, you will not have anything to recover. So when you press in here, you can see that in my case, I have all of them in here for all the saved versions. And of course, this means iOS 12.1.1 being the latest one. And of course, you're going to ask me, what can I use this future restore program for if I cannot downgrade from iOS 12 to 11.4.1 or to iOS 11.3.1? and so on. Well, it's used to actually go from iOS 10 or from iOS 11.x to iOS 12, even though iOS 12 is no longer signed on iOS 12.1, for example, or 12.0.1, or even iOS 12.0. So for example, if a jailbreak comes tomorrow and it's only for iOS 12.1, but you do have your saved blobs like I do in here for 12.1, you can use this tool in here if you're running, for example, iOS 10 or iOS 11.3.1 and upgrade to the iOS 12.1, even though iOS 12.1 is no longer signed for quite a lot of time. So yes, this helps you to pretty much bump your jailbreak to a newer version. But yes, there has to be a jailbreak in place or at least an NVRAM setter in order to set the uh, nouns from inside those blobs in here. And of course you have to have the blobs saved. But yeah, it's been updated, it works on iOS 12 now, but not for the uh, Face ID devices. Do not try that, it will break Face ID. You can find it on Southwest GitHub account in here and I'm going to link it in the description down below. But yes, as I said, in order to be able to perform a full downgrade or upgrade to an unsigned version, a few things have to be true. At first, the um, basement version has to be compatible if your device has a SIM card support. And of course, the SEP or Secure Enclave processor has to be compatible. And at the end of the day, you also have to have the uh, blobs saved beforehand when the iOS version was signed. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. I really hope this video makes sense to clarify a little bit the uh, problem with Future Restore and what it needs. And of course, till the next time, peace out.